So, so you're not the only liberal Democrat who believes that. I, I just wonder how many other folks out there are, who used to be against Trump well, are, are now in his favor. I can tell you, I get calls, whispered calls from liberal Democrat friends of mine saying, you're 100 percent right, but I won't say it publicly because I'm so thrilled that Trump got convicted, even though the conviction was yeah. outrageous. You get a lot of liberals who believe with Ellie Honig and me that this is an unjustified conviction. We're willing to say it, but they're not willing to say it. And there's dancing on the streets. And there are people who are just, I get these emails. They're so thrilled that we violated the Constitution in order to get Trump. I have people telling me getting Trump elected is worse, is worse than undoing the Constitution. That's how extreme some of these uh, people are. But in this case, he was providing the jury with a road to conviction, was he not? Yes. In fact, the day before the conviction, I wrote a column saying this was a directed verdict by the judge, that the judge was directing the jury to convict. And by the way, he didn't have to. The jury would have convicted anyway. Once the jury was selected from New York voters, 85 percent of whom don't want to see Trump as their president, the die was cast. This case should have been tried in a different county. It should have been tried in Staten Island or in Rockland County, where you get some chance of getting a fair jury. This was an unfair jury from the beginning. So the judge didn't even have to go as far as he went, but he did. And he essentially ruled in a way that made it impossible, impossible for the jury to acquit or even to hang. Right.